right, we'll go ahead and continue on with the banquet, and we hope that you've had some good conversations and network some, got exchange some business cards because it's the, these relationships is one reason we have this is the networking is is a getting to know one another and how you're solving solutions in one county and applying them in another that's that's really a, an important part of this uh, you'll hear uh, in, in describing the, men, the the program of the enhanced leaderships the responsibilities of things like mentoring one another um, going in and helping each other identify problems and, and solutions. So that's what we wanted to uh, engineer here, and we thank you for you know, and having that conversation. So we don't want to, we just want to pause the conversation for a little while and get us going on, on, uh, on the next prob uh, portion, which is recognizing our leaders. So first, to do this, we'd like to kick off with our keynote address. We, we have our, our own Gary Reichert, Executive Director of the Mississippi DEQ. We're very thankful for the support that we have from, from Gary and from Richard and from Chris in um, making this happen. If, it's, if it wasn't for the leadership, uh, ironically, at the DEQ, we may not have this leadership program. So I wanted to thank him publicly while he's here. So with that, I'll turn it over to Gary. Gary Reichert. Thank you, Dallas. Appreciate it. First of all, I'd like to welcome you all here today and uh, thank you for being here. Um, uh, you're missing out a little bit. It should have been here last year. Glenn McCullough was the keynote last year, so uh, uh, you've got to step down. But unfortunately, I, I was uh, Glenn wasn't available, so there, you're stuck with me. Um, I was talking to Dallas and, and, and Richard before um, stepping up here, and, and I was saying this is the, the eighth year, right? And so this is the eighth year of the of, of putting this program together and the enhanced, enhanced program and. Um, understand that we've got 38 members now uh, that cover every corner of the state and uh, I, I think that's a that's a testament to our staff and, a, and also a testament to you guys and the other member industries that are make up the enhanced program um, I'll note that you know it kind of represents the relationship that I, I think the department has with industry and that is in this particular state I think that we we work together to strive through to the to the common good of protecting human health and environment. Um, I, I'll note that you know it's a little ironic, but on the on the federal level, they had a program similar to it to enhance, and now EPA no longer has that. Um, and and again, I, I think that that shows again our unique working relationship that we have. And <clears throat> if you let me go on a tangent just for a second uh, in regard to that working relationship, I I know you guys have, have, have probably had the opportunity to read in the papers recently about. Um, the, 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 the revenue projections and shortfalls and what we're dealing with as a state in regard to budget. And um, uh, in, the, in the first line of appropriations that came out, MDEQ was, was hit especially hard. There was about a 35% reduction uh, in the Senate appropriations bill that came out for the agency. And uh, at that type of reduction, you know, we, we don't look like the same agency that we look like now. A lot of our programs, unfortunately, would, would have to be turned back over uh, to, to EPA. And, that. and so what, what, what happened, and I, I found it really encouraging, is that um, you know, a group of industry leaders, many in this room, uh, stepped up and, and called and, and, and lobbied uh, the, the legislature for, on behalf of MDEQ. And um, I, I, I was, I was taken, a little taken aback by that as, as to, as to um, you know, how, how happy I was, obviously, because I, I think I'm very biased in the work, that, in the job that we do, and the work that we, we perform, and obviously think that's very important, and think that it should stay in, in Mississippi, and, and Mississippians should regulate Mississippians, if you will. Um, but I, I think that goes again to show the close working relationship that we have with the regulated community and I think th this is a and, and I want to thank you for for all the efforts that you guys provided in that and in, in ensuring that MDEQ was was funded to an extent that we can keep doing the job that we're doing um, I am um, I, I noted Chris Wells and I were at an ECOS conference uh, last week which was a, a group of the state commissioners from all over the country and um, we were <clears throat> in the process of uh, going through the various discussions there and, and, and everyone was talking about budgets and and I, I, I think that we're probably pretty unique in, in the fact that we, we said, well, you know, our regulated industry is going to the legislature to, 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 to basically, you know, carry the ball for us in that regard. And, and so I don't think that happens very often. And um, I think this enhanced group is another uh, testament to the, to the close working relationship 
that, that the agency has with the, with the regulated in, industry. So w w with that, certainly it's an honor to, to, to recognize you guys that are here today, uh, people that go above and beyond, that, that, that seeking to reduce waste and to, and, to, and, and to reduce the environmental impacts that are caused by that. Um, you know, I, I, you that are in this room um, are striving to be good neighbors uh, and to, to improve the quality of life in your community. Um, I, I think that the, the vision that, that, that you've shown is certainly to be commended there and that uh, you know, your, your efforts that you have instituted have both short-term and, and, and long-term benefits. Um, um, the department, you know, we're, we're as a, as a regul regulatory agency, there's a, we, we're, we're charged with enforcement, we're charged with, with permitting, um, but there's, there's you know, a uh, number of ways to go about doing that, and, and not, all, not all of it has to be um, where, where we're holding the stick. Uh, the voluntary efforts that, that you guys are, are putting in place um, show the, the the unique unique opportunity that that um, that enhance brings to this whole process uh, in, in seeking to to reduce and improve our environment, reduce waste and improve our environment. Um, uh, enhanced members through voluntary efforts are um, you know seeking to to set the bar higher, um, looking at the at the big picture uh, that's out there instead of just trying to comply with the regulations. Um, through this membership application process that, that we have here, you know, learned a, a number of different things. And I was reading over the, the notes that, that Dallas and the team had provided to me, and it says um, that we reduced one ton of hazardous waste. Uh, over 700 tons of solid waste have been diverted from, from landfills. Six million gallons of, of, of wastewater are being reduced, reused, or recycled. Um, energy conservation efforts put in place have reduced air pollution while at the same time uh, saving over a million dollars. Um, through, through Enhance, it's our goal uh, to provide these best management practices that you guys have instituted to the, to the larger community, the larger regulata regulatory um, uh, neighborhood. Um, and, and to encourage uh, you guys to go out and, 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 and seek out uh, mentoring opportunities to help implement uh, the, the things that you have found that, that, that have worked uh, so that uh, more people can come in and, and go above and beyond just what is required to meet the regulation. Um, this year, you know, uh, another outstanding group of applicants, um, pleased that, again that you're all here today. Um, and I, I just I can't thank you enough for the support that you've shown for for the agency and um, uh, you know and, and for the support that you've shown for for going above and beyond and doing what's best for for the environment and so with that uh, a very short keynote address if you will I'm gonna turn it back over to, to Dallas and he can uh, uh, take us to our next step which I think is re recognizing the, the members individually yes sir. thank you Dallas thank you so thank you, Gary. That was well said. And, and what we'll do now is recognize the new class of enhanced leaders. Um, and as you know, we've got a, a three levels, if you will. And now we have a new fourth level that, that I'll save to last. It's kind of an interesting one. So what I'll do is I'll call out the, the, the company name. And if you, at that moment, make your way over to the... Uh, to the flag area so we can get a, 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 a photograph memorializing this event. We will make that available to you and we're going to celebrate that on our website a number of, of different avenues so that we can encourage this uh, to continue. So with that, let's get into the, uh, the award ceremony. Okay, we'll start with leader level and real quick, leader level is the highest level and in essence for you who know what a 14,001 environmental management system is, that's not too far from our bar on a, on a leader. So we're, we're very pleased. This is a rigorous uh, uh, bar we've set, and we're pleased to have um, a, a, some new leaders. So total, we have three new, and we have eight renewing leaders. So first is uh, a renewing member in the leader level is the Anel Corporation. If you'll make your way to, as I read a little bit about what you've done. So Anel fabricates steel products used primarily for the mining truck industry. With 110 employees, the company is ISO 14001 certified. 
Two of their products include solvent, reclaim hazardous waste reduction, and paint IR heaters and energy efficiency improvements, resulting in 58% reduction in solv and solvent usage and 50% reduction in kilowatts per month in paint curing uh, infrared heaters. The company reached out to the community, their employees, and friends and hosted a household hazardous waste collection event uh, to collect used oil during this event. 18 gallons of used oil were collected. Well done and congratulations. I think we'll hold our applause to the end. Get Kind of keep going. I almost, almost did it myself. Uh, well done though. Next is Whole Mac. We have Whole Mac Plant One. You know who Whole Mac Plant One is. Th this is a renewing leader. Uh, Whole Mac Plant One. And we heard a lot today, so try to go through it quickly. We, um, they produce non-code vacuum systems, heavy custom fabrication machining, and custom tool design. Plan one reduced paint con uh, consumption through portion control of paint solvents reduced, la reduced landfill waste by 6%, 5.55 5 tons per year, in fact. Uh, they save 6% monthly energy use through working reworking the heavy steel cleaning process. They participate in the Adopt a Highway program and on a quarterly basis, and their teams are seen on our, on our highway. So well done. Good job, Whole Mac Plant One. Another renewing leader is, is our friends on in Plant Two. This is also in, in Bay Springs, Whole Mac Plant Two. Okay, we got the same, ah, there we go. I knew we'd have somebody new. They produce hydraulic cylinders used throughout the world. Projects include the elimination of com compressed air leak, uh, optimizing welded gas usage, uh, and improving material storage. Plant 2 reduces energy savings by 10% and water by 15% through a combination of projects to install a more efficient five-stage washer and new paint line. They also participate in that Adopt-A-Highway program, so good job. Another renewing leader, HOMAC Plant 3. Great. Also in Bay Springs, they produce grapple trucks, uh, um, garbage trucks, and proprietary bumpers. Plant 3 has implemented a bumper oven time reduction process project and machine coolant usage reduction, both resulting in 24% reduction in oven time and 10% reduction in cooling time. Plant 3 proudly serves as a mentor to Keith Huber Corporation. That mentoring program is, is definitely one of our staples. So congratulations. So now we're moved to the steward level. We have an environmental management plan is, our, and is, our, is the hallmark for that. We have renewing member Hayworth out of Bruce. Hayworth is a seating manufacturing facility employing more than 300 people. As part of their corporate sustainability efforts, Hayworth in Bruce has achieved zero landfill waste. We all know that that's a big deal. Waste materials are sorted and collected for recycling. They have implemented cans for Calhoun City, donating the recycling revenues to Calhoun Cares, Calhoun County S uh, School District, and Dog Lovers Rescue. So they're embedded in their community and part of it. Well done. Another renewing, I'm sorry, another new member uh, in the steward level is Packard in Engine Company out of Columbus. Here we go. Packard produces diesel engines and parts in accordance with TS and ISO standards. Packard Engine Company uh, employs 500 people. It maintains an environmental management system to improve its environmental management and ultimately reduce the environmental impacts of its operation. Two of their projects include scrap metal reduction and reusable packaging implementation, both resulting in 34% reduction in scrap metal uh, per engine manufactured metrics uh, and a 5% reduction in wood waste from packaging. Well done. Another renewing member from a steward level is Southwire out of Starkville. There's Amy. There you are. I, I know you were here. Come on up. Southwire is a wire and cable manufacturing and distribution company with 310 employees. The Going Green Committee directs these efforts. 
Two of their pro projects included process wastewater, vertical bar screen, and air compressor energy conservation. The screen removes large solids from process water as it returns to the pretreatment sump. This reduces wear on impellers and pumps for the sand filter, which is designed to remove smaller solids, improving the efficiency of the sand filter, reduces the frequency of required back reduction, back washers, I should say, resulting in water conservation. The project resulted in a 39% water usage reduction. The second project resulted in 25% energy reduction through a replacement of units and their air compressor systems. Air compressors are, remain a low-hanging fruit, if you'll forgive the expression, and they've, and they've capitalized on that. Well done, Southwire. So now we move to uh, the associate level. We have one renewing member, uh, Airbus Helicopters. They're out of Columbus. Uh, they manufacture and assemble helicopters, of course. With approximately 225 employees, the facility is working to reduce environmental impacts. They have adopted the an ISO 14001 uh, compliant environmental management system, and they are implementing an Allodyne waste treatment and high bay LED replacement project in hangars and in manufacturing areas. This resulted in reduced electrical usage site wide by 10% and reduce greenhouse gas emissions at the electric power plant by 289 metric tons per year. Well done, Airbus. We have a new member, Keith Huber Corporation out of Gulfport. They manufacture mobile vacuum loading equipment and industrial water jetting machines with 65 employees. The facility worked with their new owners and, and mentor at Holnack Corporation to be more um, environmentally responsible and do a weld flux recycle program to reduce the potential landfill disposal of 1,938 pounds per year and use a rain water hydro collection to replace evaporated or residual loss water used in an ASME hydro test procedure. Uh, the, pr the projected goal is 428 gallons per year reduced. Well done. Our last renewing member in the, in the uh, associate is Natchez Waterworks. Are they here today? Natchez Waterworks. Ah, come on up. So Natchez Waterworks operates a 5 million gallons per day wastewater treatment plant and is aggressively pursuing opportunities in the waste water treatment area. They installed a new 500 kilowatt backup generator to operate the wastewater treatment plant during times of power outage, th thus preventing overflow uh, of untreated water, wastewater from the plant. We welcome Natchez to the, to the family of enhanced members. Well done. So we have a new category that's quite interesting and we're very pleased to have our first inductee into this category. Uh, this is a new member in, in, a, in a level we call environmental star. And the first in, inductee to this new level is Watkins and Eager out of Jackson. Y'all come on up. Excellent. So Watkins and Eager is a full service diversified law firm. They're a law firm. Uh, specializing in multitudes of practice areas, including environmental law, but real estate, banking, trial, and appellate practice. They have 116 employees. Part of their enhanced application process, they helped MDEQ to develop a new uh, environmental star tier. So it was with their work that we set the bar, and um, they set a goal to achieve that bar and the recognition tier for the non regulated facilities. So if you are a federal facility, I talked to somebody earlier as a federal facility, for example, I think this is your energy star opportunity, if you will. I mean, environmental star opportunity. So offering rewards to employees for, for prevention of, of paper waste, for example, beyond the contest period, they had a contest, the firm has continued to encourage conversion to e-filing and shredding and recycling of converted files. 852 bankers boxes of files were shredded and then recycled. Do the math, that's over 19,000 pounds of paper. 
that they kept out of the landfill. Uh, well done. Well done, Watkins and Eager. So with that, let's collectively congratulate the newest class of the Enhanced Leadership uh, Program. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. So we're good, team?